Welcome to the Glitamins audio presentation. In the next 20 minutes, you will learn what gallstones are, what kinds of problems they can cause, and what you can do to get rid of them. Gallstones are nothing more than coagulated bile. Bile is the green alkaline liquid produced by the liver, which, among other things, helps us digest our food. The liver produces about a liter of bile a day and stores it in a muscular sac called the gallbladder. The gallbladder then squirts this bile down a tube called the common bile duct into the small intestines to mix with the food that comes from the stomach. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. Unfortunately, with nutritional deficiencies and exposure to certain toxins, bile can thicken and form what is known as biliary sludge. When this biliary sludge forms, it makes it very hard for the gallbladder to get the bile into the small intestines. It's like trying to squeeze glue through a straw. It is out of this biliary sludge that gallstones are formed. Gallstones and biliary sludge disrupt the normal flow of bile, causing three different types of problems. The first set of problems is related to not getting enough bile into the intestines. The second set of problems occurs when toxins, unable to leave the body through the bile, back up and accumulate in the liver and the bloodstream. The third set of problems occurs when the bile, unable to get into the intestines, backwashes into the pancreas and liver. Let's start with the first set of problems and consider what happens when the bile becomes too thick or full of stones to reach the intestines in required amounts. The first thing that bile does in the small intestine is to neutralize the acidity of the food coming out of the stomach. In order to disinfect and digest the food that we eat, the stomach secretes hydrochloric acid. Did you ever wonder why the stomach doesn't digest itself? It's because the stomach has a special mucus layer that protects it from this hydrochloric acid. But the small and large intestine have no such protection. Instead, they rely on bile. Bile is a very alkaline substance, and when it comes into contact with the acidic food from the stomach, the acids are neutralized. If bile can't get into the small intestine in required amounts due to biliary sludge and gallstones, then stomach acids in the food are never fully neutralized. They can cause acid burns along the entire length of the small and large intestines, all 30 plus feet of them. We experience this as indigestion, heartburn, ulcers, and all manner of digestive complaints. In essence, we are digesting our own intestines. The next thing that bile does in the intestine is to emulsify the fats and oils in the food that we eat. Emulsification is the process by which fats and oils are made water-soluble. To understand emulsification, think of soap. It's next to impossible to rinse grease off a dish with just plain water. But if you put a drop of soap on the dish, the grease washes right off. That's because soap is an emulsifier. It's what allows fats and oils to mix with water. Bile is the body's natural emulsifier, and it is what allows us to digest the fats and oils we eat. Without this emulsification process, essential fats, oils, and all the fat-soluble vitamins we eat become very difficult to absorb. Without adequate bile in the intestines, a person can end up suffering from malnutrition regardless of the quality and or quantity of the food that they eat. If eating fats and oils gives you indigestion, or if you have difficulty with food absorption, it could be due to biliary sludge or gallstones. The next thing that bile does in the intestines is to stimulate 
peristalsis. Peristalsis is the rhythmic wave-like motion of the intestinal muscles that moves the food through our digestive tract. If you don't get enough bile into your intestines, you're bound to be constipated, no matter how much fiber you eat. Some people have the misfortune of experiencing alternating constipation and diarrhea. This can be a very confusing experience, but the cause can be quite simple. Without sufficient bile, the hydrochloric acid-rich, partially digested food just sits in the intestines with no peristalsis. Thus, a person becomes constipated, but at the same time his or her intestines are being burned. When enough acids build up and the intestines can't take it anymore, they purge themselves with a bout of diarrhea. Then, with the acids evacuated, the process starts all over again. If you are experiencing problems with constipation, diarrhea, or both, biliary sludge and gallstones could be the cause.